Hello, I'm sitting in my car, which is like my favorite place to be because I can just chill and not have to be stressed out or worry about anything. I feel like I'm going to take a nap. I need to be home cooking dinner, but anyway, I wanted to make me a little video to post this to, to see what people say about this. Like, um, I'm blessed to have very a lot of admirers, I would say. And amongst my admirers, or as I have these admirers, you know, be it exes and, you know, people I've never met before, people who I know, you know, just a lot of admirers, you know, and I'm so flattered. I'm just, that's beautiful. But my birthday just passed. And not only did my birthday just pass, but I'm going through a very tough time right now. And I'm like, how is it my phone keep blowing up? I keep getting all these, you know, invites and people that, you know, are expressing their their desires and things like that and all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, even from my ex, my ex, and I'm like, I don't remember getting no birthday gifts. Ain't nobody take me out to dinner. Ain't nobody take me nowhere, not even to breakfast. Like, I spent my birthday taking care of me doing things for myself oh wait as i look at my nails one of my exes miss tiara definitely got my nails and feet done brought me a card and brought some dinner for the children Mwah, i love you boo and she the only one that's a female that's my ex so i guess that kind of goes without saying because you know we have that bond and, and and she knows like you know anyway aside from her i mean really it's just it, it baffles me I'm just not I'm not understanding how you can express your interest in someone and expect that person to truly be interested in you back when they have the weight of the world on their shoulders and you know this because you are on my Facebook or my Instagram or a friend in life or some type of way and just be on my phone so you know this video is kind of like for them and for you know anybody else who is expressing interest in a female or a male if it's somebody that you like and you really want to talk to them or really want to get the chance to get to know them, your icebreaker shouldn't be, let's meet up somewhere. Like, no. Your icebreaker should not be, um, come see me. I'm th 21. I am not coming to see nobody. No, 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 I'm not doing it. No, I have nine kids. I'm stressed out. I got a lot on my plate. If you not inviting me, inviting me out to dinner, um, the movies, inviting me out on a date, we can even meet here. We, I'm at a park right now, saying, "Hey, you know, I'd like to meet you at a park. Let's, you know, just take a walk by the lake. There's a beautiful harbor downtown. You know, let's meet by the harbor. You know, let's go for a walk. Something like that. If you're not saying something like that." Your best bet would be not to say nothing at all. Because I'm not like, no, 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 no. I have been married twice to two assholes. I have been in four relationships with assholes. One of them, Tierra, you're not an asshole no more, but you had to get your shit together. But everybody else, like, you know, I have been through so much in my life that I am definitely going to be extremely careful to be with whoever comes next. And I'm not looking to jump in a relationship and be, oh, this is the one. No, not right now. If it comes, it comes. I would love to put on a white dress. And, yep, it will be white and walk down the aisle. It might be trimmed in something like gold or purple or something else. But, anyway, the point is, I'm just, as I sit here in my car and I'm just chilling, you know, my phone, do 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 I ain't seen that one message that said, Hey, you know, how are you? How is your day going? No, I did. Some people did say, how are you? But, you know, I didn't get messages about, you know, well, I like to take you out to dinner. I like to, like, what in the world happened to gentlemen being gentlemen? You know, I, one thing I told somebody one time, okay, we on four minutes and 35 seconds. We need to hurry this up. But I told somebody one time, you know, the sad thing is in my 21 slash 31 years of life, I'm always the one to take people out. Male, female, whatever. I'm the one to take people out. When I was married, I'm the one to pay the bills. I, I mean, I do everything for myself. 
the word independent woman does not even come close to what I am. I'm blessed to be a woman who has taken care of myself, take care of my children. I get no help. You know, I do everything by myself. And that's a blessing. But at the same time, I'm not looking for someone that I'm going to have to help out and come and and i'm gonna have to be the one to come the whole way i'm gonna always be a 50 50 from now from now on until you know i'm always gonna be you know a carer and a carer is a type of person that wants to help people and you know all that kind of stuff so i'm always going i'm i know how to be a woman i know how to be a genuine woman because my parents raised me to be a queen and a queen will always know how to take care of a king so if a king comes my way i will know that it's him and by all means like i would love to go out with you you know take a walk in the park go to the harbor go to the movies go out to eat go to a bar sit down yesterday i went and met my cousin and we had a wonderful time at the bar happy hour almost too good of a time because I'm like I want to meet him today you know but I would love to be able to do that with somebody some of these people that's like inboxing me and calling me and texting me and all of that type of stuff and I don't want to come to you no 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 I live in Columbia Maryland if you are interested in me come here and let me tell you something for people who probably like oh please I wouldn't even do all of that she ain't even all that guess what I'm fine with that you don't have to. I'm not looking for you to because the blessing in being a carer is I've been a carer for 31 slash 21 years and I've never had a man cater to me, but I damn sure know how to cater to myself. So there you have it. But I'm just wondering like, what do y'all think? Like women, you can, you can comment on here. You can tell me what you think. Like, am I wrong? Am I going about it the wrong way? Am I looking at things from the wrong point of view? Let me know because clearly I'm single for like the 30,000th time in my life. You know, maybe I'm going about it the wrong way, but I feel like I've gone about it the wrong way because I've been in all, all these relationships and marriages and I've never had someone cater to me. Be it a male or female, I never had somebody cater to me. I've never had somebody say, let me take care of the bill. Let me take care of this. Let me do this. Let me buy. This is my 31th slash 21th birthday. <laughs> and still no no gifts no no but I get phone calls text messages inboxes all that oh my boo Darren Darren Wicks that's my baby I love him he is my Prince Charming and if this life were a little bit different he probably would be the one but you know anyway anyway yep this is my video diary hey I wanted to get to eight minutes, so you can see me take my selfies. Uh-huh. I'm going to post these in a minute. Oh, we're at eight minutes. Bye.